Hey everybody, this is Donna with Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure this 2010 Mazda Excella Sport Sedan. It's got 51,000 kilometers on it, which is approaching 32,000 miles. That is it. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, Please make sure you stop by Johnny's Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Mazda Excella Sport Sedan is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so a larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April May time frame, so we're going to take care of the new 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that for another year. Now, you do have two ways to pay for this uh, first one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down and reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. All right, so with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. All right, so uh, key fob on your person, foot on the brake. It is a push start on the left side here. And it goes. I'll leave those down there. Let's uh, sneak this in here. All right. Come on, focus a little bit. There you go. 50,000. 901 on the odometer. Sorry, it's real hard to get that in there, but show you a couple of warning lights. That one right there is obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. That blue one right there is your uh, temperature gauge. So it's going to be blue when the engine's uh, cool, and that's going to stay on. That's normal. It's going to go away when the engine warms up. Again, that's normal. And then to be red if it's overheating, not normal. Be on the lookout for that. But then that one down there is your emergency brake. This one is a handbrake, so when you uh, disengage it goes away, gauge it comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. And then it pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here, you have a little display. It's gonna show you the, uh, uh, your air conditioning settings. And then this one's gonna be like how many gallons or how many uh, kilometers per liter you're gonna get, a couple other settings. I don't know all of it. It's all in kanji, so you can play with it if need be. All right, and then you have your radio. This one does not have a rear camera, air conditioning uh, controls, non-spoken uh, tray and power outlet, your shifter, the handbrake as I told you about, and cup holders. Then it does have this little center console slash armrest that's going to give you a little extra space plus another uh, power outlet, okay? And uh, it does have a top right here, you push that in, it's going to give you a Extended so you could uh, have a little better armrest, okay? Or a little more of an armrest, I should say. Continue to the left, you have this two tier uh, glove box, okay? Then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. Let me adjust the seat just a bit. And then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I could drive as is or slide us up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. Uh, you do have a compartment for your sunglasses as well up here. All right, let's go eye level That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles All the way back Now I'd like to take this time to show the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan Please keep that in mind all graded non-accident vehicles from mainland Japan auctions all my other all this uh, all these other dealers out here can't tell you that we can on each of our cars Okay, and some dealers will try to discredit this auction uh, sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. So this is graded four from the auction with a C and B on the exterior interior. I don't know why this doesn't focus good, but 
C and B. Uh, so it's a really good grade, and this is going to be up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you see that for yourself. And then this guy hanging out up there, uh, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway here. Okay, now that's up there. Uh, what else? So it does have the paddle shifts. I'll show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. So it does have the paddle shifts so if you, and uh, the button. So uh, uh, the paddle shifts in the back are for the up and the button right here for the down, okay? And then you'll, you'll be using this uh, area right here on the shifter, okay? What else? Let's open this up, see a little better. Okay, so it says I stop on or off. So you do have an option of turning this uh, on. I'm not a big fan of the, it's like idle off. I'm not a big fan of that during the summertime because if you're at a stoplight, uh, obviously with this heat, uh, your car is going to warm up, okay? Because your engine's going to turn off, that turns off the AC compressor. All you're relying on is the fan blowing the uh, circulator of the air that's already inside. It's going to warm up pretty quick. And then when you start going again, the engine turns on, the air, compressor and compre air conditioning compressor turns on, then you have to cool down the car again. <coughs> so while you may be saving a little bit of gas, you're, you're uh, doing the battle between uh, you know the warm and the cold and the cool okay and then you have this little compartment under here for uh, some storage and then you have your hood release on the uh, on the floor here please don't forget you got your trunk release and also your gas cover release right here then on the door panel you have your mirror window and door lock controls this controls all your door locks all right here all right so to turn it off your foot doesn't have to be on a brake you just push this one time and it turns off all right Okay. All right, with the seat all the way back, all the way down, the front of my knee is, is pretty much flush. Up here, I have about a half inch. So I'll just say that we're pretty flush with the back of the seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And you have one cup holder on each door panel. Okay, then you do have an armrest that does come down. It will stay level and also give you two cup holders as well. Okay, that's it to the back. Well, actually, from here, there are buttons right here on each side that if you need these to go forward, you can uh, put these forward. Uh, obviously, this seat has to go up a little bit, and you'll have the passageway uh, to the front here, okay? Let's show you the back. Huge trunk, okay? Very, very nice size. All righty. Let's go to the uh, front here, show you the engine compartment, wrap this video up, and it does have aftermarket wheels on there. All right, there you have it. This is a two liter engine, nice and clean, as my hand is burning on this hood. So there you go, 2010 Mazda Excella Sports Sedan. 51,000 kilometers on it, which again, approaching 32,000 miles, that is it. Military prices are at 5400 With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5200 Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy for about on-the-lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 5200 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the new 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement, whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread. So don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show we have, what our program's all about, and how we're gonna assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash outright. We're taking advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Uh, please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.